Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 9th of April. Saudi Pakistan statement calls for dialogue between New Delhi and Islamabad. U.S. dumps Pakistan on extrajudicial killings, asks New Delhi and Islamabad to resolve issues through dialogue. And Afghanistan accuses Pakistan of arresting documented Afghans in Islamabad. And now for all the details. In a fresh attack, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday said India Alliance leaders disrespected Hindu Lord Ram by not attending the Pran Pratishta ceremony in Ayodhya in January and said they always hated the construction of the Ram Temple. PM Modi alleged that Congress is so deep into appeasement politics that they will never be able to come out. Addressing an election rally in Pilibhit, Prime Minister also attacked the Congress over its manifesto, saying that it appears to be that of the Muslim League, not their own. However, Congress has already moved the Election Commission over his remarks. आपको प्राण प्रतिष्ठा के कार्यक्रम में सम्मान पूर्वक निमंत्रित किया, लेकिन आपने प्राण प्रतिष्ठा के निमंत्रण को ठुकरा दिया, आपने प्रभु राम का अपमान कर दिया। as the Lok Sabha elections approach, political parties are intensifying their efforts to attract voters, with leaders stronging to the ground to engage with the public and gain support. Congress, which had ruled India for more than 50 years with centre-left policies, has struggled in the past decade to compete with BJP that counts the country's Hindu majority as its main vote base. The seventh phase election starts on April 19, with vote counting on 4th of June. U.S. on Monday said it will not get in the middle of the allegations by Pakistan that Indian government was involved in the assassination of more than dozens of individuals on Pakistani soil. The response by U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller came over a query about Washington's stance on a report by The Guardian with citing Pakistani officials alleged that New Delhi was behind the killing of individuals connected with terror outfits on Pakistani soil. Miller said while the Washington has been following the media reports, it cannot comment on the underlying allegations. We encourage both sides to avoid escalation and find resolution through dialogue, he said. So we have uh, been following the media reports about this issue. We don't have any comment on the underlying allegations. But of course, uh, while we're not going to get in the middle of the, uh, this situation, we encourage both sides to avoid escalation and find a resolution through dialogue. <laughs> While the India's foreign ministry has refuted the allegations made by The Guardian, Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh reacted to the allegation and said India will not spare anyone who tries to promote terrorism in the country. If they run away to Pakistan, we will enter Pakistan to kill them, Singh said in an interview. The comments sparked angry reactions from Islamabad with Singh's Pakistani counterpart Khwaja Asif threatening military action if provoked. The relationship between the two countries have nosedived since 2019 after the terror attack on Indian military convoy in India's Jammu and Kashmir, which was traced to Pakistan-based terror outfit and prompted New Delhi to carry out an airstrike on a terror camp in Pakistan. Saudi Arabia and Pakistan on Monday jointly endorsed a call for dialogue between New Delhi and Islamabad to resolve the strained ties as well as the Kashmir dispute. A joint report was issued a day after Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif met Saudi de facto ruler Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Their discussion centered on fortifying the fraternal relations between the two nations and exploring avenues for enhanced collaboration across various sectors, according to the joint statement. New Delhi has always said that Kashmir is a bilateral issue between India and Pakistan and there is no question of any mediation or intervention by any third party.
India has repeatedly told Pakistan that Jammu and Kashmir was, is and shall forever remain an integral part of the country. India has said it desires normal neighbourly relations with Pakistan in an environment free of terror, hostility and violence. A Baloch politician has recently accused the Pakistan Coast Guard of stealing resources from the port city of Gwadar and targeting Baloch traders. A report. A fiery video has gone viral on social media showcasing a Balochistan politician lambasting the Pakistan Coast Guard for exploiting the local resources. In the video, the man identified as Hidayat ur Rehman Baloch, a newly elected member of the Provincial Assembly representing Gwadar and leader of the Hakdo Tehreek Balochistan, is seen surrounded by onlookers as he alleges the security officials of pilfering oil and local resources from the port city. Accusing the officials of confiscating oil and petroleum from impoverished traders, Rahman said the security forces are amassing personal wealth and exasperating traders' poverty. He claimed anti baloch hostility is ingrained in Pakistani forces who instead of taking action against smugglers, they have chosen to target the struggling baloch traders. I urge all Baloch people to block the roads if your oil is being taken forcibly. I'll take responsibility as a member of Provincial Assembly, Rahman was seen telling in the viral video. Activists have long alleged that Pakistan has been targeting the Baloch people through so-called military operations, ethnic stereotyping and abductions by the Pakistani state, while it continues to exploit their natural resources. The situation is not highlighted by the local media, forcing them to seek intervention through global platforms. Taliban on Monday accused Pakistan police of arresting Afghans in Islamabad who possess the Afghan citizen card. Pakistan last year ordered the expulsion of over a million undocumented Afghan refugees amid a row with Kabul over charges it harbors anti-Pakistan militants. The Ministry of Refugees and Repatriation said that nearly 7 lakh documented Afghan refugees are at risk of deportation from Pakistan. The ministry said that Afghans having ACC should not be harassed and if Pakistan government has made a decisive decision, then it should be through bilateral consultation. In the first phase of the expulsion of Afghan migrants from Pakistan, about 6 lakh migrants were expelled and the second phase of expulsion of Afghan migrants is set to begin on April 15. Nepal observed Ghore Jatra on Monday, the horse racing festival featuring over 60 horses, showcasing dozens of moves and stunts in the army pavilion. Dedicated to horses, the festival is organized annually by the Nepali Army's Cavalry Unit in Kathmandu. The President, Prime Minister and other high-ranking officials attend the event. Observed on the day of Chaitra Krishna on sea, according to the lunar calendar, the festival is set to celebrate the victory over a demon named Guru Mapa who terrorized the people of the Kathmandu Valley. The demon was trampled to death by horses and buried under a tree in Tundikhel ground located in central Kathmandu. To prevent his spirit from returning, the king began the ritual of galloping horses over the field. Performed every year on Chaitra Krishna on sea, this ritual eventually evolved into Ghore Jatra. While considered a celebration of the Neva community, the jubilant festivities are observed by everyone in and around the Kathmandu Valley. India on Tuesday thronged temples early morning to offer prayers on the occasion of the first day of the nine-day-long Hindu fasting festival of Chait Navratri. Take a look. Hindu devotees across India on Tuesday thronged temples early morning to offer prayers on the occasion of the first day of the nine-day-long Hindu fasting festival of Chait Navratri, which is dedicated to the Hindu goddess of power, Durga. Devotees in Prayagrad city of Uttar Pradesh were seen standing in the long queues waiting to offer puja and prasad to the goddess Durga. Devotees also took a holy dip and offered prayers at the confluence of River Ganga and River Yamuna on the occasion. During these nine days, the devotees worship various types of Durga known as Navadurga. 
आज नवरात्रि का प्रथम दिन है हम लोग संगम आए हैं बस पूजा पूजा आराधना की मन को शांति प्राप्त सिमिलर सीन्स वो विटनेस्ड इन वाराणसी सिटी वे ह्यूज क्राउड्स गैदर टू विजिट दी दुर्गा टेम्पल टू ऑफर दे ओबिस दी नाइन डे फेस्टिवल विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज राम नवरात्रि एंड ऑन राम नवमी दैट इज लॉर्ड राम्स बर्थडे ड्यूरिंग चैत्र नवरात्रि people also observe fast and worship the goddess durga they also perform ghat sthapana the invocation of goddess shakti which is a significant ritual followed during the period navratri also celebrates calmness and peacefulness in the form of mahagauri mata that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India